Across the world, people are living longer, and maintaining the health and independence of this burgeoning older population is an enormous challenge. I'm Dr. Joff Lacey, and I'm here in Bristol, England, to find out how robots may be the carers of the future. The Bristol Robotics Laboratory is the largest academic centre for robotics research in the UK. One of its main themes of research is assisted living, which looks at how robots can assist older adults in their day-to-day -day lives. I'm assuming this is it. Hi. What a welcome. <laughs> I'm late. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Joff. Nice to meet Hi. You. Tell me, I mean, what is the assisted living development project? What's involved? Uh, one of the main things is to develop technology to support people to live independently, particularly older people. There's a shortage of carers. And mostly people prefer to sort of, you know, feel empowered um, to look after themselves. Molly is being programmed with functions such as reminders about appointments, a health and nutrition monitor, an alarm if the person falls over, and various entertainment and exercise programmes, all of which will be operated through speech recognition capabilities. What do you anticipate is, are the impacts of having someone, something like what Molly... What can I do for you? Oh, I said you Molly too loud. Word. Hush. OK. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, what kind of an impact do you see Molly having on... Uh, How may I help you? I basically can't say... The robot. Hush. <laughs> OK. So these are smart garments. In here, it measures oh, yeah. your surface skin temperature. Incredible. And so if you get too cold at night, yes. um, then the robot could either turn the heating up automatically or come and inform the person that, you know, they were getting cold. So with this on and with all the cameras in, and technology on the robot itself, yes. you can monitor how much I'm eating, how much I'm drinking, my heart rate, my temperature, my movement, yes. and then incorporate that all into suggesting methods to improve how I'm living. Exactly. The laboratory is conducting research in other areas of robotics, many of which will one day be relevant to assisted living. We have fun too, so you okay. want to come and, come and check this out. This is one of our Bert heads. Uh, he's very, very understanding. So if you like, just sort of sit down and maybe tell him about your, tell him about your, uh, uh, your journey here this morning, maybe okay. some of the problems you have. Hello, Bert. Um, yeah, so we, I'm sorry we're late, we're delayed in traffic. Um, it's, it's, so he's, in, he's nodding and interacting so, with me as I... Oh, uh, yeah. When you stop speaking, there's a gap. And in that gap, we interjected, as you're doing now, and it responded appropriately, which gave me the sense of engagement. I felt that you were, you know, I'm speaking to something which is, uh, which understands me. The, all these things are things we do intuitively, mm. and it's only by having to break down exactly, you know, essentially what makes us human, mm. you start to realize the complexity of the most simplest interaction. It's amazing. Absolutely. Mm. Grace Body is one of 45 old adults in the UK who are involved in trialling Molly as part of the European Union funded MobiServe project. I, I'm coming to that point where I think life isn't going to get any easier from mm. this point onwards, either, either physically or mentally. So I, I'm, I'm wanting this project to succeed for me. Yes. <laughs> and for everybody like me, people of my generation. Thank you. Thank you. But all of us, including me, tend to forget things like uh, medication and sometimes older people require quite a few lots of different types of medication, different yeah. quantities. The mm -hmm. robot would know the gray, uh, that Grace had woken up if Grace had been wearing the smart garments I showed you earlier. That triggers a response from the robot which has been programmed to give a reminder. Careful, I'm about to move. She's found you. Good morning. It is time to take your insulin. Okay. Don't forget you have an appointment with the dentist at three this afternoon. Okay. Would you like some exercise suggestions? Okay. I don't think we'll do uplifting dance. No. <laughs> okay. I can Press see how good that. Press the start button when you are ready. Three, two, one. 
get us moving in the morning. And down. Set connection again. And down. I'll start with a run out so far. And down. And down. I'm glad, I'm glad that we're in front of a robot, otherwise it looks very <laughs> odd. Indeed. While the technology is still early in its development, it's clear that with all the advances being made in laboratories like this, one day robots could play a vital role in our healthcare. Well, at least we've nailed this, uh, <laughs> this one exercise. <laughs> that's it! I think that's it! <laughs>